Welcome to the Gator Nationals! Alright! Welcome to the Gator Nationals. Here comes the GOAT, John Force. It is a packed Gator Nationals and we got so much to talk about. Settle in. Guys, that just shows you anything can happen. The GOAT, John Force, upset in round number one. But I'll tell you this, the weekend got off to a much better start for him as he was inducted into the Hall of Fame. Guys, take a look at this Hall of Fame class this year. There he is, the GOAT, John Force. Ladies and gentlemen, the legend, Don Garlitz. Don, we now have who many consider number one and number two, the top two drag racers of all time in the same Hall of Fame, your Hall of Fame, you and John Force. What's it mean to welcome John Force in? Well, you know, we got some good guys out there. It means a lot, and he called me personally and said, you're going in. And I was honored because him, Shirley Muldowney, you know, Perdome, those are my heroes. I chased them my whole life. The question I asked John, what do we have to do to make the next Don Garlitz, the next John Force? How do we make another big star in this sport? Well, we got we, we are doing more of what we should have been doing a long time ago. The cars aren't the stars. It's the, the drivers are the stars, and that's where NASCAR got a heads up on us. As we know, as we said tonight, you guys aren't getting any younger, unfortunately. No? What do we got to do to create the next Don Garlitz, the next John Force? What does this sport have to do? Grayson will create them. And I told Wally years ago that he should promote the drivers. The cars come and go, but the drivers are what the people relate to in the stand. And NASCAR did that from the beginning. But we see that now. They put the, the guys on the cover of National Drag and that's what it's going to take. you got to build these stars, these guys. I mean, the car's fine, but the car comes to go. He can have a different car every year, but it's the same driver. So you've got to promote the driver. If they love it, they'll find a way, just like I did. Congratulations, sir. Enjoy this night. Well-deserved, guys. He's the 16-time champion here with his entire family, Mr. John Force. So the question is, guys, how do we build new stars? John Force is awesome. Don Garlitz is awesome. John is north of 70. Don's north of 90. How do we translate this big crowd into new superstars to keep this sport going? Well, the good news for the Pro Stock Motorcycle category is it's getting a whole lot younger. So stay with us. We're going to dive into that. We're going to meet some of the players. But we've got new riders this year making an immediate impact. We've also got a new look as the Gen 3 Suzuki Hayabusa body is out. And that has really modernized the category. You want those motorcycles motorcycles to look like the ones that fans can buy off the showroom floor. Guys, dreams come true because in just a few seconds, Chase Van Zandt about to make his NHRA debut in the Pro Stock Motorcycle category. Well, congratulations, Gage. You got that first one out of the way. How you feeling now? Feeling good. Hey, who do we got here? Hey, Paul Carter, Georgia. Georgia, you want to cycle drag? Yeah, we want to cycle drag. We didn't know the show. Also, this type of turnout is huge for the NHRA because some say drag racing is dying, it's in decline. We know the fan base is getting older, but guys, look at this iconic legacy event. They announced it as a sellout. That's interesting. I can tell you this place is jam packed. Well, I always hear former track manager Don Roberts in the back of my head. He said, son, this is drag racing. We're never sold out. And that is true. With 300 acres of property, there's a lot of folks that never even make it to the stands. We've also got Bill of Cases to talk about and really the re-emergence as Suzuki as the dominant brand here in Pro Stock Motorcycle. Angie representing for Team Denso out here doing a great job on the Matt Smith Racing Feet Twin. Yeah, this is the good news for the NHRA. Take a look at this crowd, guys. Historic and iconic event. Got to keep a little going like this. You've done just about everything in motorsports. How would you assess the health of drag racing in the NHRA? We saw a sellout this weekend. Some people were saying this sport's getting older, but we do see new blood coming in. What do you think? Well, I, you know, I'm glad that the work we did, and we did a media day in Tampa right after the Daytona 500. And there is no question, guys, this is definitely an older crowd who comes out here. But if drag racing can continue to evolve and attract the youngsters like that man, it will survive. Mr. Bostic, I hear this is your biggest fan. Well, you know what? She is my 
my favorite girl. I love Sedona. Matter Shout fact, out. If you look at the back of my Pro Stock bike, uh -huh. the only decal that is on the back of it is Sedona. Sedona. You rock Sedona. I saw a lot of NASCAR fans that came in drag races. And what was really cool is when I would see somebody that had NASCAR gear on, I said, you know, what brought you here? And they said, you. And the good thing is, I said, have you been to a drag race before? They said, no. So we're bringing new people to the sport, and that's something that's exciting for us. We feel like we're bringing value to this series. And well, you know, we're in Florida when we see cool hair dudes like that. Inspired by the Island Boys? A little bit. There you go. Good job, guys. Good job. Something happened to Angie. Let's see if she can make the pass. They made an awful sound. They just tried to refire it. Smith, not sure what happened there. Oh, guys, wait a minute. Wait, I'm sorry. I didn't even see the wind light. Joey goes red. Check it out with a 1590. Angie takes the wind. Lock a big part of drag racing. How about that? Well, Angie, congratulations. You survived. Great to get gifts every once in a while. Yeah. What the heck happened? I don't know. I think it started um, started in the burnout when uh, I was driving out and shut the motorcycle off, and I think something happened to the transmission at that point, and then I put it in neutral. They fired the bike up. I put it in first gear, went up, they lined me up. Then when I launched, the bike shut off, and then it shut off, come back on, shut off again. So I know it broke the transmission. I don't know if something with the transmission made it shut off. I don't know what's going on. Hopefully, we'll get it fixed, and uh, we'll see if it's fixed. That's good news. They will be okay. Here comes young Chase Van Zandt. This is his first NHRA race. We'll see how he can do. And just like that, Chase Van Zandt is going to the semis. Man, big congratulations. Guys, if you watched him on this channel, you've seen him win a ton of 460 racers. He was a college athlete. He's a gamer. Welcome to the NHRA, young man. Doghouse, Chad Ots, can you know better than anybody? You raced that assassin last year in Eddyville. Chase Van Zandt is here. Is it any surprise to you he's going to the semis? No, sir. Chase is very good, and uh, he's good on the tree, and I'm here to support him. He's a gamer, and I see you got the lucky boots on for him, too. Lucky yeah. boots. Go, Chase. Shout out to Big Bills, because, guys, are they eating well this weekend or what? Great job, guys. Big Mills. Cheesesteaks. Let's go. Come on, see it. You know, I, I tell everybody, uh, I love what we do with NASCAR. I'm a diehard NASCAR fan. NASCAR is better to watch on TV than it is in person. Uh, this is a sport where it's 10 times better to be at the track than to watch it on TV. And the Fox broadcast for an HRA is amazing. But to see the sights, the sounds, the smells, uh, and feel the vibration of these cars, it, it's something that it doesn't translate on TV. So you've got to be there to feel it and get the cheers here. Well said. How about this? Teammates must tangle. Gianna Evaristo and her tuner, her builder, Matt Smith. Gianna Magic 684 takes out the six-time champion. Congratulations, Gianna. Wow, unbelievable. What a win. Gianna, you just, you just beat the boss. Where'd that come from? Wow. Uh, well, it came from the boss, actually. Wow, congratulations, yeah, yeah, thank man. Thank you. Yeah, I think that bike slowed up a bit, so it was unfortunately, um, but it was a good race. It's always fun to race him. I've always enjoyed it, so I'm going to take it round by round. Just Go out there, race my race, and have fun. Great with helmets coming on, guys. It is go time. Everything's going in Vance and Hines' way, except this matchup. Eddie Craywick and newcomer Gage Rare have to face off here. They were hoping they wouldn't do this until the final, but sometimes it happens early on. One hundred three eight sixty for Gage. His debut performance with his new Vance and Heinz team. Clearly, they picked well. Eddie Craywick just learned that right there. Wow, very impressive. Food lines absolutely packed. Wow, good for these vendors. Oh, and after what I saw on Bike Week, I don't think I could go back in one of those. Probably, probably never can I. Yikes! But I am going.
going back to bike week so stay with us guys we're gonna head back to bike week after this it's pretty cool that these two events coincide sir what is the delicacy here oh it's it's it, it, it's yeah taters but total heart attack i was gonna say looks like is that the keto diet is that the south beach diet, <laughs> yes, it's good. A keto <laughs> diet. well you guys enjoy it's a cheat day well that's pretty cool the guitar player i was gonna get a shot of him he watches cycle drag thank you guys I see you on the interwebs all the time thank you very much good job good job head back to the pits and give you some exclusive stuff first though speaking of big daddy we got to check out i think six of his legendary swamp rats are on display Boy, we've come a long way. Here's Don Garlick's first dragster, 1954. Then we moved to Swamp Rat 1 in 1959. Front engine, as you can see, things have really evolved and changed. They call this one the bomb. This caused poor Don Garlick to lose part of his foot the end of the front engine days, which inspired Swamp Rat 14 in 1970, where Don Garlick said, get that engine behind me. You can see the wing too, a lot of technology and advancements. Here we have Swamp Rat 22, first dragster over 250 miles an hour. Guys, this is why Don Garlitz is such a legend, the innovation. Talking to Don too last year, he doesn't necessarily love where the sport is now. He likes the days where hardworking guys could go get parts at the junkyard. We certainly don't expect that to happen anymore, but Don thinks the sport is maybe just a little too cookie cutter right now, a little too corporate. How about this, Gage Herrera signing autographs. Gage, are you in any hot water? You beat your teammate yeah, there. Right. <laughs> See, they don't kick me out now. Oh man, congratulations. What a dream, going to the semis. How much of a thrill is this? Oh man, it, I can't put it into words, you know. It's, uh, it's awesome. How about handling pressure? Remember, drag racing is like a sharp shooting type sport, like golf, like bowling. You just, you have to be on split seconds, separate winners and losers. And the way the gauge is dealing with the pressure, you see the Suzuki execs behind him, you see Terry Vance behind him, and he's just not letting it get to him. Well, sadly, Michael Phillips retired at age 56. You're the man, what a run. But Mike Phillips, what about this youth here in the semis? They got some bad fellas out here. They, they sure just do. the baddest. Oh, right? there he is, ladies just and gentlemen. Just Joey Gladstone. Champ. Joey, you started the youth movement here, man. Sorry about your luck there in that last round. What happened? Uh, I'm not really 100% sure. I was 31 you know, in the first round, and it felt good. I just kind of felt like I was leaving normal. Um, I certainly didn't feel like I should be pushing it. You know, like maybe if I was like, you know, a tenth behind my competitor, I might try and, you know, go double O. But, uh, but no, I just tried to leave normal, and I guess, you know, we're, we're talking about, like, for me, 40,000 of a swing to a 011 red it seems like a lot, but it's really not a lot, man reality so maybe i rolled it in a little too deep I, I don't know no excuses but uh no i'm just happy this week's over <laughs> hey no doubt good way to start the season yeah. nonetheless it's only round number one it's gonna be a long one i told you pre-race i said i think you started to track because what i'm seeing now is competition is so tight in the all motorcycle leagues we know that and they go get some of these top riders like yourself a few years ago coming over from pro street now here comes gage here comes richard here comes chase there are some top well, young riders here, huh? There's there's always been talent in the all motorcycle world, you know, like like for example Richard, Jeremy, Gage, obviously, Chase, you know, they're all you know, I feel like they're all equally capable of, you know, doing what Gage and stuff is doing right now. I mean look at Chase, but uh but no, I mean if anything I I kinda think for, for pro stock wise, it always kinda seemed like unattainable for, you know, people like us. And then um you know, now these guys are realizing it's, it's not unattainable, you know, and once they put their talent to work out here, it's a uh, low numbers haul, you know. No doubt, man. Well, we wish you the best the rest of the season. That is Joey Gladstone, Michael Phelps. We hope he's back someday, yeah. maybe. Who knows? Yeah. He's ready for a fuel Harley, a Monster Bowl. Somebody send him some money and get him on a motorcycle. He's being fed well, so thank you very much for that, Mike. Very cool, guys. Great presentation. Look at this turnout. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Wes Buck, Drag Illustrator. Gotta say congrats over your awesome event. We're in another awesome event. What do you think about this turnout? This bananas, man. Not as good all the time, right? It's unbelievable. This place is packed. It took me an hour and 15 minutes to get in here. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So good for drag racing. Drag racing alive and well. Thank you for what you do, guys. Drag Illustrator, Wes Buck. Gators doesn't go your way. You just fire up the slushy machine, have a good time, have a couple drinks. I right? enjoy. Salute. Happy, happy out. Happy. That was very nice. They offered me one, guys. Can't do that while I'm trying to do a video here for Cycle Drag Universe or else, uh, I don't know if you guys will watch. Or the views may go way up, but it may be the last video. So we're not going to do that. We're going to stay nice and sober for you guys. But if you're watching at home, feel free to enjoy.
can't find a parking spot here at Gainesville Raceway. It is the season opener for the NHRA. Well, it's sad to say goodbye to this young lady because we loved watching it for so many years. Karen Stover unfortunately retired, but Karen, the youth movement is on with your team. It's on in Pro Stock Motorcycle. You still look 21. Let me get that out there. But as we know, you've been involved in the sport for a few years. So, but now we have Chase Van Zandt. First race. First race, he's going to the semis. What do you think about this? It's awesome, man. You know, I think about who's in the is in the class right now this year we have so many young guns out there coming over from all different areas of drag, drag racing not only from grudge racing but bracket racing to this so just shows, goes to show you all the experience that you do down at these other levels or not i don't want to say down but at these other racing venues to bring it up here is awesome and guys it's a mad thrash over here at the white alligator racing pits as you can see all hands on deck as Chase Van Zandt trying to make it back up for the semis. It is his first NHRA race. Bruce Van Zandt, a team trick tools, working hard, trying to get this motorcycle ready to go. You can see NHRA right now. They're telling him, hey, you gotta go, you gotta go. This gentleman will come around. He'll let you know when the call is. How close are we, sir? Oh, their bike's pulling into the water box, guys. They're in the water box. They're in the water. They're in the water. It's a mad thing. They can. They've just been notified the other motorcycles are in the water. We're gonna to try to button this thing up. Harvey Dean, the entire Trick Tools team. They're hustling. They're hustling. They're hustling to try to make a call. Tim Kalungi and the whole crew down here. They're gonna put the bodywork back on. They're gonna go for it. They're gonna. They're gonna make an attempt here. They are gonna make an attempt to get up. NHRA working with him a little bit. Of course, NHRA wants him to be there for the sake of the show. Get off the stand. They're ready to roll as soon as they finish roofing the body. Great effort. Great effort by these guys. And Ruby Chase staying poised and comfortable back here. He will be put to the test, guys. This is what it's all about. Appreciate NHRA guys communicating. Thanks so much. Appreciate safety safari down here. Doing a great job. Chase Van Zandt, he's going to make the call. How about a Herculean effort? Great job, guys. Great job. Team Trick Tools. Team White Alligator Race. Great job. Here they come. We're rolling. Chase Van Zandt headed up to the line. What a fire drill. Big congratulations. This team getting it done. How about it? Wish them well in the comments, guys. That's a victory in and of itself. They made it. They made it. We think. We think. Guys, that was awesome. They hustled. I hustled. I had to sprint a long way. But they made it. Big congrats. And here comes Chase. I guarantee you. Seconds ago, we we're buttoning this thing up. How about it? Michael, you think that affects his concentration? No. Nah. So a little bit of maybe coming both ways. Chase Van Zandt with an engine swap coming up here late, late, late. Angie with the bike that, uh, well, let's just say the last run wasn't her best run. Wow, big congratulations, Angie, 688, but you gotta give Chase credit. His first race, and he really withstood a mad thrash to get to the line. And for Gage Herrera, his day number one on the Vance and Hines Mission Foods bike. Can he take it from the number one qualifier to the final round? I'll tell you in a minute. That's a good debut with Team Vance and Hines, huh? Yes, sir. They're going to be happy about that. Nice run, huh, John? How about oh, yeah. it? Gage going to the final. How about that? You know, Gage Herrera accentuates everything that's new with this class. John Sachs, old pro mod racer. How about it, man? Young man, Billy Case, his new body, and he's going to the final. New team. It is a new era in pro stock motorcycle, guys. Here he comes. Technology battle. Steve Nichols has out the laptop. Max ECU gonna try to put a tune in this machine. Angie going to the final. She's pumped up, excited to go. Oh, it is final time. Angie Smith, Gage Herrera, ready to go.
great moment for Gabe Guerrero. Hi, Abusa. Hey, Gainesville, that punishment she comes back up here. We've got our first time cars in the lane. Hey, congratulations. You can't ask for a better debut than that, huh? He's the man, man. I mean, he's, uh, he's rock solid. We, we got him enough round wins today. He's going to be dangerous all the time. Zero round wins to a race winner. Congratulations. Congratulations. Mr. Van Sarty, you, you got to be happy with that debut, huh? You got to be happy with that. That's right. Are they bringing him down here? Congratulations. The record is safe. Woo! You guys are like the 72 Dolphins. We're going to have to uncork champagne every time. Records are meant to be broke. It'll get broke sooner or later. I don't know. That's a pretty high bar. We'll see. We'll see, we'll guys. See. Good to see you. With all the emphasis on Suzuki, your husband getting Suzuki factory support Suzuki out here. Is it fulfilling to you to see a V-twin make it to the final first race? Does that kind of mean that we are, we do have an even playing field? Or are you a little concerned about parity? No. Uh, I got outrun a 10, so over a 10, so, um, that's all I can say. I got outrun a 10th and I can't, I can't run with them. Make the garage look good, huh? Absolutely. Oh right. yes, it will. There you go. What the heck is going on over here? The driving skags up the line. Gage, how about it, man? I, I, you accentuate and drive home everything that is new about this class. You're a new rider, new team, new body, new cases, and you get it done. Is it safe to say there is a new era in pro stock motorcycle? I think so, for sure. I mean, all the new blood out here, I think uh, it was really good for the class. You know, this is what the class needed. Well, and uh, I think it's going to be a really good year. And you know, to be holding that right now yeah, I in mean, the first race. I mean, it's, uh, I, don't have, I don't have words for it. Awesome. Yeah. It was a picture perfect weekend between going 668, number one qualifier, setting the going 200, three miles an hour, and then you know getting my getting my first round win in pro stock. That was that was a big accomplishment to me, and then getting my first win. I mean, uh, you can't ask for a weekend any better. So. Well, congrats, man! I got to tell you this. Those of us who know you and have been watching it, it's not a big surprise. We knew you were going to be tough. So congratulations, guys! Watch them all year. Gage Herrera. Yeah, he's Tony Stewart, he's going to be a good dad. Excellent. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. Wow, Leah just spilled beer on Tony's shoe. That could be a no-no. Wait, he's, he's okay with it. What a husband. Oh, man. Wow. That was uncalled for. That was uncalled for. Totally uncalled for there. Jeez. Oh, man. Tony Stewart getting soaked. Oh, my goodness. So, last one I'm going to sneak in. Any chance we ever see Tony Stewart do anything with a motorcycle? I saw you looking at some of the pro stock bikes. Not enough wheels on them. Not enough wheels for me. Uh, my, my dad, when I was a little kid, was very much against me uh, being on a motorcycle so uh, you know I, I I never had anything to do with motorcycles so uh, I'm, I'm sticking to what I know it has to have four tires on go. for me but you probably like watching them out here huh I do love watching this I guy's love the best how about it guys well congratulations to both you guys you enjoy this thank you for being out here we really appreciate you being out here the cachet that you're adding the publicity that you're adding it means a lot to us drag racing guys so we, we love this sport so we love being a part of this it's uh, something that our heart and soul is in Thank you very much, guys. He's the legend, Mr. Tony Stewart. Gainesville Raceway. Guys, I love this place. Little known fact about me, I started my announcing career here. A young, nervous University of Florida freshman up in that tower. 
in the year 2001. My goodness. Well, hey, I hope you enjoyed this. Let's head back to bike week, though. No rest for the weary. Don't worry. We're not giving up. Let's take you back to bike week because I know, I know the party's still going over there. So don't miss our next vid from Main Street Bike Week. We're going back. I hope you caught up on the first four videos from Bike Week. Crazy. You guys are watching. Thank you so much. If you like that video, here's another one for you. Subscribe right in the middle. And you know if there's anything fast drag racing or motorcycle festivals we are in, Cycle Drag rolls on.